Hi, and welcome to our algorithm section of the Ruby programming course. This is going to be a really exciting uh, set of videos because these are some pretty advanced algorithms that are used as a in the computer science field for development for things like that and uh, these type of algorithms the ones we're going to go over are considered some of the best ways of learning how programming actually works so it's really important to go through here if you've ever taken a computer science courses this is something that you'll have probably have heard a lot about if not that's perfectly fine we'll be able to kind of learn as we go but I want to first talk about just the importance of it. So let me open up an IRB section right here, session right here, and I'm going to create an array. I'm going to create an array and say uh, 1, 5, 1, 2, 10, 100, 3, and 1. So we have our array right here. Now if I do a dot sort, you can see that it sorts the array from least to greatest. And that works perfectly. The sort method uh, works great in Ruby and it actually performs very, very well. Uh, so you typically would not create or implement your own sorting algorithm. So why would you wanna learn it? So why are we spending a section and several videos dedicated just to that? And it's because learning how to create a sorting algorithm is considered one of the base elements of programming. So once we get past the point of learning what the syntax is for a conditional or uh, how to create loops, anything like that, learning how to create an algorithm from scratch is one of the things that all good computer scientists and all good developers need to be able to implement. So the very first thing we're going to do is look at some of the sorting algorithms that we're going to cover in this section. And the computer science division of the University of San Francisco did an incredible job in creating this visualization tool for sorting algorithms. So I want to start off here just so you have an idea of what we're going to cover. Uh, some of the ones we're going to be covering next few videos is one, we're going to do the bubble sort. Then we're going to do the quick sort, and then we're going to do merge sort. Now, the bubble sort is one we'd only learn just for uh, learning how to program a very basic sorting mechanism. You'd never use a bubble sort in, uh, in a real production application, and I'll show you why. So you click here, and you can see what bubble sort does. It goes down the line from the left, all the way to the right and it simply compares each element and says okay if the one on the left is less than the one on the right we stay the same if it's greater than then it moves and it just keeps on iterating down and taking that one down essentially the and the reason why it's named what it's named is it's taking the largest elements and it's bubbling them to the top and so it will it potentially it could take if you have uh, 97 it looks like uh, elements in this array it could take 97 times going through the entire array before it's sorted so bubble sort is a horrible performance uh, sorting algorithm and you'd never use it in production but uh, it is great for learning how to implement certain algorithm types so this could take forever even just letting it run and uh, watching it here so i'm going to stop this one and move on to quick sort and show you this this one quick sort is a much more advanced one it's a divide and conquer algorithm and it's what's called a recursive algorithm. So what it does is it picks a pivot point and then it starts sorting inside of whatever that group is. And you can see right here where it's picking pivots and then it dynamically starts sorting each of the elements like it just did there. See how it grayed out these ones and now it's focusing here. Now it's sorting these elements, and it may not make a lot of sense in the beginning why this would uh, why this would be a good algorithm, but it's a very advanced one, and the reason why it's so good is because well, one the performance is great, but uh, it breaks the 
entire data set down into much smaller pieces. So it takes the values, compares them, and then look at the end, you have a fully sorted set of values that you can put together. And this performs dramatically better than bubble sort or a lot of those uh, a lot of those type algorithms. Quicksort is pretty much the most advanced sorting algorithm that most people like to implement because it performs the best. And uh, the other nice thing about uh, the other nice thing about Quicksort is you don't. We're going to learn how to make it, but you don't really have to worry about it too much because when we just ran this algorithm right here, when we called sort on our array. This actually uses quicksort. Ruby by default uses a quicksort algorithm. So that is uh, neat that with one line of code you can call it. The last one's merge sort. Merge sort is kind of similar to the way quicksort is in the sense that it's a divide and conquer algorithm. You can see that it takes certain subsections of the array and it divides them out and then it compares those subsections and then it merges those together so it essentially spreads items out and compares those smaller subsets and then merges them in with the pre-existing values and puts them all together this is one that performs almost as well as quicksort and in certain cases it can perform as well um, but uh, for the most part quicksort is kind of considered the de facto standard for sort algorithms but uh, through this section we're going to learn how to implement all of them so uh, this is something also that if you're taking any kind of coding uh, tests or computer science tests or interview questions uh, being able to implement a sorting algorithm or at least knowing the basics on how those are implemented is something that will come in very handy because it's a, one of the more common questions that you'll get asked uh, whether you're interviewing for someone like Facebook or you're interviewing uh, just for a normal uh, software company. So it'll be good to familiarize yourself with these even though you're mainly in production, simply going to call the uh, de facto uh, sorting method if you're using Ruby.